So here we are on my examination of Paths of Glory, um, looking at the winter 1914 turn, well, I guess it's 1915 in this game, uh, turn. A um, little bit has moved on the board, not a lot. Uh, the West Front kind of solidified, the Germans got pushed back from Cambrai, but uh, have a pretty solid line, even if that's hard to completely see. Um, there's no real indication for this, but it looked like the Allies had uh, had pushed their war commitment up to the limited war version. More deck comes into play, so I think the right thing to do is to garrison the Italian border. Um, it's hard to tell because Romania could come in and I don't know. I, I, I just don't know how these things are going to play out. So, uh, I don't know. I kind of like games where you have some feel that you're at least set up with the right uh, situation. That by default, if you don't do anything, you can get stuff. That just can't happen here. Um, so, over on the east front... Um, Got Germans in Warsaw. Did a little bit of a push forward. Uh, and then I did some activity down in Serbia. Weather doesn't seem to have a lot of effect in this game. Um, it's a matter of, hey, if they want to play the special combat card bonus at the weather time, it might have an effect. But it, it doesn't seem to do anything else. Maybe I'm misreading something in the rules. Uh, got a lot of dead units in the Allied box, especially Russians. No big shock there. Um, I'm following my general strategy which is, for World War I games, which is try to hit the Russians as hard as you can, knock them out of the war whenever you can, and then turn back. I'm going to see how that holds up here. Uh, I put my reinforcing German unit that I got as a card uh, on the east front. And they, the West Front looks thin to me, but, you know, I, I, I don't want to overcommit when it doesn't do me any good. I've uh, been keeping up pretty well with the Central Powers replacement points. Uh, the did run on into one problem, though. One of my goals, I looked at the, the way the game kind of looks like it's set up, and Turkey looks like it's this horrible point, like, generator for the Allies. Now granted, uh, Jerusalem's not a point, and Karput is not a point. So because the, I'm playing the historical scenario, there's uh, a couple of things that I had to X out, and that's what I had to do to my map to play the historical scenario. Um, I mean, it's not that horrible, but... The problem is, I don't really want them to enter, because I think they'll make it easier to win. Victory points in the game, you need 20 points uh, as the central powers. The allies need to drop the victory point total to zero. That's the automatic victory conditions. I think that's the way the centrals have to win, just because of my feel for World War I, not any knowledge of the game. So, I'm trying to push the victory points up as high as possible without uh, getting the Turks into the game. Well, that gets my victory point total up to 15 right now. I don't know if I can push it much further. There's a couple Russian cities that could fall, but the Allies have their total up high enough that they could bring the Italians in or the Romanians. So delaying the war on my side may not be that brilliant an idea as the Centrals, but I ran into one thing that's really, really icky. I ran out of cards. I only have six cards, and I'm playing the historical, so it's an eight-card hand. So, the Centrals are at a serious disadvantage on this, at this point. Uh, you could say, well, bad strategy, whatever. Well, it's not like there were cards that I wanted to play that would have advanced uh, the, uh, the, the value on the Central Powers. I could have grabbed a victory point in exchange for bringing Turkey into the game, which might have been worthwhile. But... It seemed better to... I mean, the choice there was that, or bring up my, my reserves. So I brought up the reserves. I have more troops available with the centrals. 
I think that's more important right now, but obviously I'm going to have to bring Turkey into the game. Okay. Uh, I'll keep going with this side.